Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Welcome back. Cold Lake residents will be able to skip a long drive as an air service will soon be offering direct flights out to Calgary from the Four Wing Airport. The flights will service about 70,000 people from Cold Lake in the catchment area. Mayor Craig Copeland says it's all about economic development and making the community more livable. This is a tough location if you're not from a small town in, in northern Alberta, so it just makes it easier to live here. But also for doctors, for specialists to come into our community, we can, we can fly them in and fly them out uh, for, the, uh, for business. The city is working with a carrier that they have a non-disclosure agreement with to see if they're interested in partnering. The cost of a flight hasn't been determined yet, but Mayor Copeland says they will keep it affordable. So small airports across Canada, if you want to have uh, cats, a de cat, cats a designation, cats a security, um, you have to pay for it. So we're going to find out shortly what it's going to cost us and uh, from there council will look at it in the budget process, but we're moving forward. The flights won't be available before Christmas, but snowbirds will be able to fly back from holidays as the service will be up and running in the spring. Well, as the season changes and temperatures cool down, the need for warm clothing is apparent. Unfortunately, this time of year can be financially challenging for some. Buying new winter wear might not be an option. Well, this weekend, the WPD Ambulance and the Lloydminster Bobcats teamed up to help the community stay a little warmer this year. We're trying to fill our ambulance with a bunch of winter clothing, anything from uh, toques, mitts, uh, undergarments to uh, jackets and snow pants. Donations were accepted at two Bobcat games over the weekend, and the drive managed to collect a fair amount of clothing. We were just looking to have a little bit. You know, right now what we have so far is half of an ambulance filled up, and we had a lot show up last night to uh, donate as well, and, you know, it's overwhelming the support that we've gotten so far. Donations are still being collected and can be dropped off at the WPD Ambulance Station weekdays between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. The 37th annual Lloydminster Stockade Roundup wrapped up over the weekend and the Supreme Show took place featuring the best in cattle. As Chris Chacon reports, the grand champions from each breed were displayed and then judged in supreme fashion. The best of the best have made their way to the border city in one of the top cattle competitions anywhere in the world. It's been phenomenal and uh, definitely no regrets coming here this year. Just an opportunity for us to show cattle to people from a different area than we're used to taking cattle to. And the opportunity was grand. The top female and bull champions paraded out for a chance of cattle greatness. The prestige of being Stockade Roundup's supreme champion and it's our right that they get to brag about. They're the champion over all breeds that are in the industry right now for this show. A display of lights and an eager crowd awaited to hear the results. Red Angus Red Red Rich Aftershock 238A took the win as Supreme Bowl. Couldn't have pictured it in any better, better way uh, winning the Supreme Bowl and uh, doing phenomenal with our other uh, cattle in the stall. Red Angus Red K Adam Zaria 091Z and her calf Red Tehran Shocker 10C won the supreme female spot. Very excited. It's a great opportunity to showcase our cattle and uh, promote our breed. The winners won a cash prize and a buy to the RBC Supreme Championship in Regina. Chris Chacon, New Calf News. Well, from GPS to music and games, today's smartphone capabilities are nearly limitless. On well, this week's retrospect, Jeremy Thompson takes us back to when a phone was just a phone and call display was the latest innovation in phone tech. Well, you, you, you would always know who was calling. It's not that somebody can call you and hang up and not answer, because if they do that, they, it still records your number who called from what place of residence that they called from. Howard Frank uses the new phone system for his home and business. He says it is also helpful because you never miss a call. The phone displays the numbers that called your home while you were gone. 
At Star Vision Video, they like the fact that they never miss a call when they're in the back room or vacuuming. The manager says it also really helps out with annoying phone calls. Yeah, we get a lot of calls. Um, they're not necessarily prank calls, but they do, they are annoying. They hang up a lot and uh, with the phone you can tell who it is. The new system was just brought into Lloydminster in September by AGT and SaskTel and is doing well now. A lot of people took the customer free trial and out of the people that took the free trial, approximately 75% of them decided to keep the services after the trial was over. Both the RCMP and AGT say it is too early to tell if the phones are making a difference when it comes to bothersome phone calls, but Houston says if Lloydminster is anything like other cities, there will be a change. With the custom calling services that are available and with the new phones that tell you who is phoning you, the uh, instances of prank calls or obscene phone calls has decreased dramatically. Krista Polishy, News Hour. Today, call display is a basic feature on all phones. Ryan Lorzell and Jay Barr from Northwind Radio say the last big leap forward in phone tech was internet access. Now, calling someone is just one feature on a modern smartphone. You watch the cell phone get smaller and smaller and smaller, and now it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger because people are starting to do um, checking their email, watching YouTube videos, checking out the sports cast. There's not much limitation anymore. If your computer can do it, so can your phone. That's all for Retrospect this week. I'm Jeremy Thompson.